Let's see how would we create a string value. The way we create variables in Flash, and I'm going to delete all these hello worlds. The way we create strings in Flash is by typing var space str for the name of the string. For now, I want to call my string str, and then we're going to then we're going to put a colon and specify what type of variable that is. Although we've did, we didn't learn yet about different types of variables, but you could assume already because we, we've dealt with numbers. So we could save number variables and we could save string variables. Now if you're coming from earlier versions of Flash or different languages such as JavaScript that don't demand you to type what type of variable it is, it's not 100% mandatory to type the type of variable. But AS3 it's trying to be more more effective and if you don't type the variable type it's going to be much more hard for flash to figure out what variable you actually meant for it to be so by us telling flash this variable str is a string we're actually making it much easier for flash both to figure out what we want to do with it and also it makes our our application run more smoothly because Flash knows what it is. So it's easier for Flash and behind, behind the scenes to set enough room in memory, and it's easier for Flash to help us figure out if we're putting the wrong value inside of our string to output to us and output to us and tell us and help us program as well. So there's a lot of benefits of us telling our variable what type of variable it is. Let's see how do we add data into this variable. I'm going to delete the semicolon. If we just relook at this one more time, so we, we type var space str, which is the name of our variable. We could have called it anything we've wanted to. And then we've put a semi, not a semicolon, but a colon. Very important to differentiate here. And then we typed string. So I'm going to type now equals. And I'm going to open a double quote and close a double quote and close my line with a semicolon. And inside of the quote, I could type my hello world. So I've just created a variable which I could refer back to. And the way I refer back to it, I could just call str whenever I want to. So if I wanted to trace, our, trace out my str right now, I could type str, close my bracket, end it with a semicolon, and save my file and publish out. And you can see that I'm getting the value of my string, which is a low world. Now, let's make things a bit more gradual. If I didn't want to save my data immediately after I created it, I could break the line. I could create a string, break my line after I put in my semicolon, and I could put into my variable later on, for example, in this line, my value. So I'm cr definition creating the value in one line. And in the second line, I'm taking my variable that I created and I'm putting into it a string. So now if I run that application one more time, we're going to see that everything works the exact same way.